Hello everyone. The Economic Liberators Forum leader Hulisani Mani has urged South African sponsor shop owners and other businesses to organize themselves and fend off attacks, threats and killings of allegedly instigated by foreign sponsor shop owners in areas such as Heidelberg and Tembisa, where alleged threats against the lives of locals have become common. Mani was addressing members of the media during a media briefing held at the Reef Hotel on Wednesday and said, I call on the Spaza shop owners to organize themselves and protect themselves against such threats. It is important to protect our own communities and create opportunities for ourselves in our communities. The only thing that is stopping us from taking control is that we are mobilized and not organized, which has made it easy for foreigners to come to our community and take over our industries. Last week on Monday, ATM leader Vyo Zungula wrote to the ministers of police and state security who are expected to respond to the demands he made on the need to investigate killings and death threats against South African spaza shop owners following reported killings and threats in Ekuruleni. Independent media has reported that at least four spaza shop activists in Ratanda, the south of Heidelberg and Gauteng have been killed in separate incidences in the past three weeks, allegedly by hard Lesotho nationals. According to the news reports, one of the victims was He Pinyawusa, a prominent figure in the local business community who was allegedly gunned down inside his tuck shop by attackers who had come to buy airtime. Zungula said he was prompted by disturbing reports of four Ratanga business forum members who were gunned down over the last month to write to the two ministers saying this was no coincidence. Zungula said the forum was established on February 7 and within a month, four members have been gunned down already. A sign that is no coincidence. If it was an attack on all spaza shops whose majority is owned by Somalis, why only these four and what do they have in common? This is why as the ATM we are saying there's too much of a coincidence. This is a carefully orchestrated attack on the members of our society and therefore requires swift intervention. Zungola has indicated that his party has been engaging with community leaders on some of the issues, with most of those who spoke to the party sharing experiences of intimidation by their foreign counterparts and said the ATM is appealed by such a sense of entitlement and we believe that it can't be distanced from the brutal murders that are taking place in the country. This is why we are calling for the General Peggy Taylor to protect South Africans and bring to book all the perpetrators of these gruesome acts. Early in the week, Tembisa-based brother shop owner told how after raising capital to open his own spaza shop he was told that he must close his shop as the economy belongs to pakistani ethiopian somalian bangladeshi and other foreign nationals in tembisa a recent spaza shop owner who is seeking legal and political help has revealed that he was threatened by an ethiopian group and told to close his shop because the spaza shop economy belongs to foreign nationals and not south africans However, responding to the Saturday Star, that Secretary of the Pakistan High Commission, Sahid Habib Khan, had this to say about the alleged attacks and said the Pakistan community based in South Africa is very peaceful and they themselves have been the target of various crimes. I requested to share if there is any specific information that can be shared with the High Commission regarding the incident that you are referring to. What's your take on this one, people? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more news.